Oh, yeah, I was the only one home. And you were there by yourself cheering them on. Yeah. And then, of course, the whole marijuana scandal popped into the thing. What were yeah. you thinking then? Do you? I mean, you know well, him better than anybody. Because I was the only one left in Vancouver, um, I decided I'd just move to the Chesterfield because the phone constantly rang. So I didn't get any sleep that night. <laughs> so when the scandal hit and they were going to take his medal away... Yeah, what about the scandal? What then? about the scandal about the marijuana thing? Well, yeah. then um, Canada came to Ross's aid, and I had phone calls from two lawyers all the way back from Montreal, and they said, we want to get out there. We, what can we do? So this is, the whole country was behind him. And it turned out great. He was on the late night talk shows. I mean, this guy became a multi, I mean, the celebrity was right through the roof. And uh, yeah. and Ross, 10 years ago, that's, that's Ross, what, can you believe 10 years has gone by already? Well, in some respects, uh, absolutely not. You know, I mean, the fact that, uh, you know, when I was at the Olympics, I was 26. And before, you know, 10 years before that, I was 16. And now, wow. you know, so yeah, wow. there's a lot of water under the bridge. You know, I experienced a lot of things in the last 10 years. And so on one side, it seems like a long time if I think about all that's happened and how my life's changed. But on the other side, it just seems like yesterday.